Number nine. The pressure of the atmosphere on the surface of the planet Venus is about 88.88 atmospheres. Whoa. Compare that pressure in PSI to the normal pressure on Earth at sea level in PSI. Okay. So I'm going to break this up because we're talking about two different things here. We're talking about pressures that are existing in or on Venus, right? And then it says, what's, you know, compare this to the normal pressure on Earth. So we're going to do all of our Earth pressures on the right side. Okay. So they told us that the, the, the atmospheric pressure on the surface of Venus is 88.8 atmospheres. Wow. And they want us to uh, basically express this, compare that pressure in PSI. So I need to convert one unit of pressure to another unit of pressure, right? PSI is basically the same thing as saying pounds, which is LBS, per square inch. So PSI, pounds per square inch, basically it would be pounds per inches squared. So that's just what PSI is. We just need to convert it from ATM to PSI. Okay. So start with what you're given, right? 88.8 ATM times by a ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom, right? We don't want ATM, so that goes on the bottom. And we want PSI, so that goes on the top. Now you're probably going to have to maybe uh, memorize your conversion factors for pressures, or maybe your teacher or professor might give them to you, but I just put them down here, okay? These three are all equal to each other, so you just have to pick the one that you know the conversion factor is asking for. In this case, we only care about PSI and ATM. So for every one ATM, there's 14.7 PSI. So for every one ATM, the one goes down with the ATM, there is 14.7 PSI. ATMs cancel, you're left with the unit that you want, and all we gotta do is do 88.8 .8 times 14.7. Uh, since we started with three sig figs, the answer should be in three sig figs. So I'll say 1.31 times 10 to the one, two, three, and that's PSI. Whoa, a lot of pounds per square inch. Now we have to do the same thing for Earth. So they just say compare that pressure in PSI to the normal pressure on Earth at sea level. Okay, they didn't give us a number. We have to memorize it. The only, the only amount that you probably have to memorize is what is the pressure at sea level. And it's a very easy pressure. Sea level literally means, you know, at the sea. So if you live by the coast, that's your pressure, right? You're at sea level. So like if you're on the beach, right? That's at sea level, right? If you're, you, you know, you're like the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean, if, if you're at the beach, you're at sea level. And the pressure at sea level on Earth, so maybe I'll just put that at sea level, it's one ATM. So that's the number that you have to memorize. So always at sea level, it's always one ATM. But they wanted you to compare it at PSI. But if we know that we're at one ATM, we're at sea level, this equals 14.7 PSI. So the PSI value would just be 14.7 PSI. Now they say compare the pressure, but look at the number difference, guys. And you could even see it with the ATM. If sea level, like, you know, on the surface, right close to the water is one ATM on Earth, and the, the you know, on Venus is 88.8 .8 ATM, yeah, right? When we go, uh, you know, when we go deep sea diving, we need oxygen masks because as you go lower and lower and lower into the sea, the pressure gets more and more and more. That's why when you dive, if you have like an in-ground pool and you dive all the way to the bottom, sometimes your ears pop because it's so pressurized. So can you imagine 88.8 .8 ATM? 
as opposed to one ATM on Earth, yeah, we we wouldn't make it. And the same thing here. I mean, 1,310 PSI versus just 14. So that's crazy. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.